the penitentiary foundations. Dig downwards. We'll go under them. <laughs> Well, this fridge is huge! Oh, wow, a giant ice cube! Yummy, bro! And we all got like a thug! Won't work this way. We've got to get the ice cube up so it melts in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Let's get going. Oh. Uh. Wow! The ice cube with a surprising silly you need. Who dares wake Olaf up? Was that you? Put me back in the cold. Too hot for a Viking here. Okay, let's go, guys. No time to lose with this clown. <laughs> Are you calling Olaf the Viking a clown, Pipsqueak? Uh, Your little uh, excursion is over, Daltons. And, uh, uh, over for your buddies? That was your sixth attempt to escape in three days, Daltons. That's not acceptable. But, Mr. Peabody, sir, we just wanted to welcome our old uncle and his, uh, uh pet lizard. Right, Uncle? Ah! Oh! Oh, well, if you were escaping for your family, well, I take my hat off to you. Respectism. Of course, your uncle and his lizard can share your cell. Hmm. So, a dragon does what, eh? Mm? It breathes fire and it flies. Are you with me? <laughs> <laughs> doesn't seem to be breathing fire. Maybe he needs heating up? No, Olaf, hungry. Mm -hmm. Good idea. That way he won't be breathing down our necks. Jack and William will give you a feast, Uncle. Avril, we take care of the dragon. If that thing is a dragon, then I'm a princess. Uh, of course! What do dragons do? They rescue princesses from villains! So, we need a princess! Avril? Over to you, Joe! Aha! I'm the nasty villain, and I'm going to kidnap the beautiful princess! Oh, no! Help me! Save me, oh, dragon! Keep it up, Joe! Attack him! Big, big, big! Uh, defend yourself, dragon! I'm not scared! <laughs> that actually worked! Looks like the dragon has fallen for you, Princess Avril. <laughs> hey, Joe, he wants to take us away. Ah, my dragon! Not today! <laughs> Blue tights, get back down now! Well, how about now? Flying with him is too much fun! Watch out, Blue tights! You're going to make me very angry! Come down! Fly! 
I said down! No! People from up north are friendly. <laughs> Forget it. What a fabulous idea to organize a prison fair. Yes, I said to myself, Melvin, let's give these men a taste of something out of the ordinary. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Peabody had some spies around here. They want to spoil the party. Let's keep an eye out. <laughs> Happy with your new cooking assistants, my friend? They're perfect. Keep going, I'll be back. Can we try some games? We must test their securism. Oh, oh that's sticky. <laughs> That's the plan. Mmm, so the spies are checking out the walls. Daltons, come over here and help me grind corn for pancake flour. There must be a plan here. We could dress up as corn pancakes. Oh, who did that? Who did what, Joe? It's from the pan. Ah, the corn, it's explosive. Miss Betty, but such dexterism. <laughs> Flying over the penitentiary is forbidden. Clear road. <laughs> This is a little too obvious. Whoa. Yes, it looks like hail. Oh, yum, yum, tastes good. <laughs> if they find out what it is, our plan backfires. What on earth is this? Now this is Indian hail, a rare weather condition. Fabulous Falcon told me about it. Hmm? Hmm. In any case, it is tasty. Let's get some buckets. 
<laughs> the sheep disguise is better. Nobody worries about sheep because sheep are really stupid. Unlike dogs, let's get spying. Me, <laughs> me. Blasting the wall is too complicated. Have to find something simpler. Me? We'll make revolvers. With sugar. Pretty good with salt, too. Oh, my goodness, it is. Hands up! <laughs> you think you can scare us with those ridiculous looking dart guns? Not a chance. <laughs> you won't get away with this, you realize that? Thanks for the key to the penitentiary. So long. I need to repair my disguise. Now, where did they hide all that white stuff? Nope, not here. Up there, maybe? Oh, it's kind of hot in here. A storm? Where's the key? Where are you? Over here! Don't tell them where you are, you absolute ninnies! The Daltons! Stop them! No! I found the key! To the door! Here we are! It opens inwards, help me! One, two, Time to pop right back inside, Daltons. <laughs> pop, that's good. Excellent. <laughs> of course, I'm counting on you four to clear up this new disaster, all right? Yeah! Oh. Ah! He's right, Joe. It would be criminal to leave the penitentiary in this giant mess. <laughs> Honestly, the only time I can stand him is when his mouth is full. <laughs> Let me introduce Jimmy Jim. The government has commissioned him to design a new uniform for you all. Four handsome inmates will be chosen to go on tour to present the new collection. On tour sounds like escape. Fine. So who wants to cast for this? There's four of us, and we're cute. Hang on, oh. I'm cute too. You need to be more mm -hmm. than cute. You need to know how to walk. Watch. Like this? No, oh, a military march. I love the army. Such natural style. I'm including these four as candidates. <laughs> Let's see. Sizes are XL, L, M, and Child. <laughs> You'll compete with these four. Place your feet in line, swing your shoulders and hips from side to side, a sultry look, and a wild swing around. Your turn. <laughs> Exercise two. Now we're going to work on posture. <laughs> Joe, your eyes have to say to the jury, love me. <laughs> Time to try out your outfits, Hop Hop! I can't wear this. You're magnificent. Go on, walk ahead. I'm the terror of the West. I'm the terror of the West. Hey, don't walk in front of me. No. Oh, stop that. You'll mess up your hair. Let's prepare the contest. Tomorrow, you'll walk two by two. Ugly Bob's team on the right. 
And the losers on the left. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to good old methods. Sabotage. Gentlemen, tomorrow we're out of here. <laughs> 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 William Dalton versus Shaggy George. <laughs> Jack Dalton versus Skinny Bear. Marching's harder with four balls instead of two. <laughs> Emerald Dalton versus Tubular Hugger. Campaign at list. We get rid of Pete and Emmett and we take off. Ooh la la, what happened to you? Your face is all covered in bumps there. What? Stop! <laughs> Hold on. Ooh. Here we go. It's here. Let's go get clothes from the Indians. We'll be spotted 10 miles away like this. Ow! What's that? Ten miles ahead. Looks like tourists. Right. Get on your costumes and set up shop. We're getting business. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get it! Mm -hmm. Be quiet. Okay. This is a surprise attack. Um, oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, they're so handsome. Why are the squaws giving us funny looks? They are so handsome. What do they want? I prefer not to know. What on earth is that cloud of dust? Our guards, chased by the Daltons, chased by Scars, chased by Green Team Tom. <laughs> we escaped the Scars. I was the terror of the West. <laughs> you mean I really can't go yet? Not until you teach us the witchcraft that makes our squaws crazy. Starts again. Walk, look, turn. Careful with those eyes. Sultry eyes, gentlemen. <laughs> and one and two. Back straight, please. Now make an effort or I'm going to whip you. I'm getting out my whip. You're infuriating. Daltons, you are incorrigible. This escape attempt will be your last. I have asked for you to be transferred to Beefstown Sulphur Mines. Oh, no! This penitentiary is like our home, Mr. Peabody. You can't send us away like that. Mr. Peabody, have you read this month's penitentiary passion? There's an article about a machine that makes the most hardened criminals gentle as lambs. Hmm. And the sound level should be here. Ah! Hey, oh, 
what's this all about, Mr. Peabody? We're not guinea pigs. Oh, calm, calm, Joe. Thanks to this machine's modernism, you will soon be rid of all your evil thoughts. And free? Oh. Did you say free? That's fine by me. Go ahead, Miss Betty. Blast us. Cool. A movie. I hope they give us popcorn. Ooh. Hello, my friends. I'm Precious the Friendship Bunny. I'm here to teach you about don't think twice, be nice. <laughs> it seems awfully harsh. Will they be in there long? Given that one hour of treatment is equivalent to one hour in prison, simple to calculate, I'd say, uh, uh 350 hours. Violence only leads to more violence. Take that wickedness out of your hearts. There you are, my friends. Our journey is over now, but I shall always, always be with you. And don't forget... Don't, don't think, think twice, twice. just always be nice. nice. Oh, no, we didn't see the end. Where did the pink kangaroo go? Well, how do you feel? Sweet as a bunny rabbit, Mr. Peabody. Isn't that right? Hmm. Oh. How very awkward of me. Here you are, Mr. Peabody. Those things are for bandits. Don't think twice. Always be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you my word. Here you are. Is this the line for the new Pink Kangaroo movie? We're going to miss you, Dalton. Mm. Don, where did the Daltons go? I'm going to miss the beginning of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very oh. nice, taking a bank vault that doesn't belong to you. Huh? What's this thing doing here? I do not want to see you or your fluffy ears around me. Get back to your movie. <laughs> Precious. Nothing would have happened to your stupid pink bunny. He is in your head because of Peabody's treatment. All in your head. Well, no, Joe. I swear there's nothing in my head. Take that anger out of your heart, Joe. Okay, bunny. It's time for rabbit stew. <laughs> violence only leads to more violence, Joe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let love fill your heart. Ah! 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 Not just the pink kangaroo movie again, but even better, I need it. Doing now, Joe? I bought the same machine as Peabody to reverse the process. We're going back inside our heads to get rid of that rabbit. Sit down. <laughs> this time I'm not waiting for popcorn. He's a boon. Uh. Where are we, Joe? Inside our heads. And we're the ones who run this show. Come on, let's get down to business. Bunny! 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 Who wants a great big hug? Yeah. <laughs> That was real close, huh, Joe? Imagine if he had another buddy who... No, oh, stop that, Avro! Stop imagining that! Huh? <laughs> 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 
And that's when I saw this flash of lightning and there was this burnt pork smell in it. Mm. I'm not certain we did the right thing, Mr. Peabody. On the contrary, Miss Betty. What peaceism. I'm writing to the governor to fully recommend this machine. Hey, you know what, Dalton's? I heard that the pink kangaroo's preparing a sequel to his adventures. I can't wait. Ah! <laughs>